years ago, when I was just 12 years old, I decided to learn English. Well, it was actually my dad who led me to a language school. I was so passionate and enthusiastic about it. Also, the real reason behind this was my friend with whom I loved hanging out. So I was ready to kill and I was ready to learn that. I still remember my very first class, which made me realize for the first time that I knew nothing, literally nothing. So I felt so dumb, yet passionate. I thought I'll nail English just like I nailed any other thing in life. But my expectations and self-reliance let me down. First, when I was just beginner level, where only the alphabet is taught, I passed for sure. And then the challenge awaiting me started to appear one after another. I failed from my intermediate level, and which was my first failure at the time, and I told myself, this is going to remain like this forever, like first failure and last failure, no more. Well, I was so wrong. After one and a half months of re-studying, I failed again. I cried turning my back on everything and everyone, blaming the teachers, teaching center, their teaching methods, my parents' chores, entirely everything in this world for my failure. But myself, I was the innocent one here. So, and then I thought about quitting, giving up, like not learning English anymore. But, after spending some time and then quitting seemed like even harsher choice. So I decided to give it a one more try, third attempt. This time I was sure I would pass because I was reading the same book, same vocabulary and the same structure for the third time. I learned it. I thought I could even teach everyone in terms of this level. Maybe that's only what I thought I could. And unfortunately, I failed again for the third time from the same level. And then I failed again and again, again and again. Well, I spent almost a year in one level, which could only last one and a half months. However, these failures gave me an important lesson. Well, at school, I used to be praised for my grade marks, active profile, organization skills, and for many other things by my teachers and my peers. I was a type of student who would always sit in the front line despite being the latest comer to an event. But within one year from this title, praised, and always a go-getter, I turned into a total loser. My friends, with whom I started this journey, were already studying in upper advanced or were already preparing for their IELTS or CFR certificates, while me was stuck in alphabets. Well, that hit, that hit hard. My leaderboard status became a bad luck. My friends, my teachers, even my close ones started to avoid me in their classes because I would bring them failure. My teachers often told me that I should give up and English was not for me and I should better study something else which I was good at. To tell you the truth, I really thought about giving up because after so many failures, who wouldn't think, right? So, but spending almost a year for one level, but achieving nothing and leaving would be a waste and it felt so painful. So, despite the objections I was receiving from almost everyone involved in my life, apart from my dad, who was my financial support at the time, I decided to continue my studies. Well, 
One thing I learned from my failures is that I actually never was interested in English in the first place. One day, while I was watching a favor my favorite actress's video, I understood I have never taken a real interest into English and it wasn't my choice to study. I was just following my friends and what others were saying. It wasn't my decision to study. And I also realized that all I was doing was comparing, trying to be the first one to raise my hand, trying to beat my course mates, but never actually studying for real. That day, for the first time, for a very long time, I decided to read the book, which I read more than 10 times and learned one more time, just for an interest. To my surprise, the more I've opened and the more I've flicked through, the more new things I started to see. I wondered, how is that possible? I read the book literally more than 10 times without skipping a word to learn because that was the reason of my failures. But reading the book and not understanding for real and realizing it after a year, that hits hard. From that day on, I, like having realized my mistake, I stopped comparing myself to other people and to their levels. I stopped comparing my success with other people's success. I literally stopped caring about what people could possibly think of a loser. I accepted being the loser. I accepted being the unwanted guy or person in the room. I accepted who I was and I wasn't trying to impress anyone. And for this time, I really decided to learn just for myself. Maybe I won't finish a book, I can finish one page, but still I would enjoy that. No more tears, no more feeling of embarrassment, nothing but enjoying the process. All of a sudden, and to my surprise, I passed. I think the six or sevens or eights, I actually lost the count. I still don't know which time was that. I finally passed. But instead of jumping and celebrating my success, I stood silent and I was rather shocked. The word passed on the wall actually seemed like fail to me. Maybe it was because after a very long time that I even deleted the word pass from my vocabulary. So I started questioning myself. What happened and why I passed? Every time I used to do the difference. What happened and why I failed, but this time I was wondering how possibly I passed. I wasn't a passer, I was a loser. Then, one by one, questions appeared. Did I change my teacher? Answer is no, I didn't. Did I move my learning center and move to another one? No. Did I change the atmosphere I was in? No. Was I spending more time for learning and without sleeping? Definitely not. I wasn't a kind of person who would sacrifice sleeping for learning. I know that's bad. So, but after all, anyway, I succeeded. The only thing I changed about studying or about everything was my attitude towards my learning. I wasn't trying to be the best. I wasn't trying to pass or impress my parents, make my teachers feel proud or make prove everyone that they were wrong for none of those reasons. I was selflessly studying and genuinely deeply studying for myself. Just enjoy it. Every time I fail, I use it to finish two books, three books, and I use it to like fulfill three or four copy books. But this time, when I passed, I had only one notebook for both vocabulary and grammar just for everything. So, and then I realized that what we have to focus on is not the levels, is not the passing, is not others, but we have to enjoy that. So, I'd like to mention also one thing. 
I had a very good friend with whom we usually talk about things. One day, when we were talking, I was preparing for my certificate, international certificate. She explained how difficult it was, how bad it was, that we had to work without sleeping. Intensive studying for a week or two. I got shocked and I was like, I can't do that, I want to give up. I really literally stopped wanting, the, wanting to take the certificate which I dreamed for years. And then my friend said, wait a minute, stop. Don't forget to enjoy the process. And that hit hard. That's right. We should not be looking on difficulties or impossibilities, but rather take everything as a chance. And that's what I started. With a changed attitude towards my learning, I never failed again. Years gone by, I graduated all my levels and then decided to get myself a job. I applied for many jobs, but I got rejected. I got rejected from approximately 10 or 15 places. And then I sat back on a sofa crying and saying, why does it happen with me all the time? Why should I always fail 10 times and then do something great? I had these questions rolling, rolling, and then I stopped wanting to work at all. I didn't go anywhere for a year I sat at home. And then one day, I got motivation. I really needed work, and then I really wanted to work. And then, right after my first interview, I was given two adult levels. And at that time, I realized that first, when I tried for work, I had very negative attitude or neutral attitude, let's say. The reason why I was actually looking for work was because my friends were working. Because this was what everybody would do. First you study, graduate, and then you work. That became the traditional way for everybody. So, but next time when I applied and then I got accepted, that time, that was what I wanted. I didn't change anything, I didn't change my answers. The same person, the same me, but different perspective. And today, after all these failures and after this long journey, I work at a teaching center. I have more than 100 students currently teaching online and offline. I've, all, I've already helped more than like many students with their IELTS, so far certificates, and with their tests in terms of English. With my help, people, children, students were acquiring a second language and becoming fluent speakers of English. And this feeling was worth all my difficulties. And now, I work with the teachers who previously told me I could be no one in the area of English. I have my own voice both at work and at university. My friends, my colleagues, my classmates, workmates usually come to me and consult with me before main events. And apart from English, I also learned two more languages, Russian and Turkish. And currently I'm working on my German. How? I wasn't gifted at all, total loser who wasn't able to speak one language. But after that, learning two more. Well, answer is simple. I knew exactly why I was choosing the certain things I was choosing and why I was deciding to take this responsibility. Sure, this realization took me a year and my dad a year of expense for my endless failures. But however, it worked in the end. Hear my advice. No matter what you want to do in life, you want to study like a new something, like subject, or you want to acquire a new language, learn a new skill, or maybe it might be the simple thing like cleaning your own room. Have correct attitude towards it. You believe it or not, but 
when you don't have correct attitude, moving one laptop in front of you to other place might be a problem as well. So I hope you will not need a year and endless failures to understand this simple key to success. Thank you.